As a police officer, you may experience cases where someone's house has been broken into, but it isn't just a one-off scenario. There's someone repeatedly committing this offence, but who could it be? After collecting the DNA samples from the crime scene, we use that information to help you make an informed decision on who to look for. Small sections of the DNA are known as genes, and they include specific information about an individual's characteristics, such as eye or hair colour. The DNA donor's genotype is our main focus where a genotype is a collection of genes and makes up part of the genetic makeup of the cell. They are determined by alleles, which are two genes responsible for a specific trait, but we'll come back to this later. To achieve the best possible prediction of an individual's biogeographical ancestry, you need three things. Genetic markers that can differentiate between biogeographical ancestries, reference populations, and a prediction algorithm that will predict your donor's ancestry specific to genetic markers within the reference population. Genetic markers are specific DNA sequences with a known location on the chromosome, which is used to classify and differentiate individuals from either the same or different population. One of the most common genetic markers are single nucleotide polymorphisms, also known as SNPs that we will use. Each SNP depicts a difference in a nucleotide, which is a single DNA building block. That's one out of three steps done. However, before we can predict the biogeographical ancestry, we must sequence our samples with a positive and negative control, respective of the Thermo Fisher protocol. The SNP loci are then enriched through PCR amplification using the Precision ID ancestry panel, which includes 165 SNPs. The SNP loci are then combined into a single library, followed by temperate preparation, both on the Iron Chef before sequencing on an Iron 520 chip in the Ion Gene Studio S5. We will use six AIM reference populations, America, Africa, Europe, East Asia, South Asia, and Oceania. Finally, to predict the ancestry using prediction models, we we'll use a multidimensional scaling plot, principal component analysis plot, structure, and a phylogenetic tree. The MDS plot graphically represents the relationship among samples within a multidimensional space, where the distance among points estimates their multivariate variation as close as possible. In the first and second coordinate, our individual in the purple could be American, Oceanian, East Asian or South Asian. From another perspective, they could be American, Oceanian or South Asian. Or from the third perspective, American, Oceanian, African or South Asian. Our PCA plot reveals a similar ancestry, where a PCA plot transforms a large set of correlated variables to a small set, while still containing majority of the information within the large set. As you can see, our unknown could again be American, Oceanian, East Asian, or South Asian. Since our DNA donor is between four reference populations and not definitive, we calculated the observed heterozygosity to determine if our individual is admixed and has parents either from, from two different populations or if our individual is from an unreferenced population. Remember before how we mentioned alleles? If a particular gene has different alleles, they are described as heterozygous for that gene, and if they are the same, they are homozygous. The DNA donor's heterozygosity is approximately 0.3, while East Asia, South Asia, Oceania, and America are also approximately 0.3. This means our donor is likely to be from an unreferenced population. We also use structure to calculate the genetic contribution to each individual in a population from K ancestor or root subpopulations, which are characterized by being in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium and linkage equilibrium. It therefore helps to reveal population structure. We found that when K equals six, we did not see much except that Oceania in the pale pink was clearly visible without any other populations. However, when we increased our resolution to K equals seven, our population six, which was Oceania, shows mixture with East Asia and our unknown. We also see population 2, which was America, split with our unknown and also has an Oceanian mixture. Similarly, we saw East Asia with Oceania presence and a little bit of Africa. We can infer our unknown has Oceanian and East Asian ancestry. Finally, we conducted a phylogenetic tree, which is a diagram that represents evolutionary relationships among humans and can depict if two species are more related if they have a more recent common ancestor. Our donor is quite closely related to one American individual and the Oceanians, which could mean our individual is likely around these regions, potentially from Philippines, Hawaii or Micronesia. Well done team, we are one step closer to finding our suspect.